Hi, this is Kai Wehner with Confluent. In this video, I want to talk about a specific use case in manufacturing, building smart factories and leveraging the cloud to add business value with that. There's many topics we can talk about today. So let's get started with the basics. In the end, on the one side, we have factories, not just one, but typically factories around the world. And on the other side, we have cloud, where our customers process a lot of data. And now we will glue this together. One case study where you can learn from our customers is BMW. They did exactly this. They are connecting their smart factories with Confluent Cloud to add value. And now I want to show you how that can look like in your scenario. Let's begin with the context. A factory has PLCs and many complex machines. In addition, factories in the meantime have many smart robots. So very automatic and complex software is running there. But it's mission critical, it has to run 24 seven and it has to be safe. Safe also for the humans that are working in the factory. So this is in the end, the basic setup. So let's now talk about how data streaming can help here. First of all, we need to understand that a factory will always be at the edge. However, modern data flows are either in the data center or typically today, most customers have even a cloud first strategy, even in manufacturing. So data streaming helps by connecting the information with the right systems. The first use case is about visibility. This sounds very simple, right? But this is what most of our customers are doing in the first phase of their data streaming projects. From a business value perspective, improving the overall equipment effectiveness is the number one goal on the shop floor level in the factory to reduce the cost and the risk of productions. And so you can leverage data streaming with real-time feeds to make it available and create correlation here. And when you see something that is not right, then you send an alert back to the mechanic in the factory. Now the mechanic sees the data in real time to act and can repair a machine before it breaks. This is a first very valuable use case how most of our customers get started. So there are many more use cases. When you have built the data streaming pipeline anyway, well, here you go. If you have built the data streaming pipeline, then you can leverage it for more use cases. That's really the added value. Easily tap into the data and get access to that. And then you can correlate information with other systems. In your manufacturing environment, you have systems like an MES or ERP system. With data streaming now, you can take the data from the factory and then correlate it with the data from your other IT systems. So this is the real value here. You can now take data, no matter if it's real time, like from a sensor, or if it's data stored in the database in your ERP system, correlate the data and take action on that. For example, for better sales, for better services, or any other communications internally or externally. The heart of the infrastructure is real-time and scalable and reliable. And now you can tap in any new system after you've built the pipeline once. So this is really huge value for innovation. And as part of this innovation, let's take a look at the third use case. In addition to building real-time applications, not everything is or will be real-time. So customers, of course, also have a data lake or a data warehouse. As you connect all your systems from the shop floor level and also from your IT systems like the ERP into your streaming platform anyway, it's just one more step to also get the data from here into the data warehouse or data lake. The data warehouse is still not real time, it creates reports. But even here, you often get the business value by creating reports that are only a few seconds or minutes old, instead of running a batch workload where you get an update the day later. So in summary, this is what manufacturers like BMW are doing. And this is how our customers are doing it. They build a first pipeline very often for visibility, what's going on on the shop floor level. But then you take it to the next level and correlate it with your IT systems like the ERP or MES. And in parallel to that, because all of these systems are decoupled with the streaming platform, you can also get the data into any other system like a warehouse or a data lake so that your data science team or business analyst can take the data in their own way. And all of that is secured end-to-end -end 
with data privacy, data governance in mind. This is how you can leverage data streaming in manufacturing so that you can connect your smart factory to the rest of the IT. I hope you learned something in this video. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos in the future. And take a look down in the description where we link to several different case studies related to manufacturing. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Kai Werner with Confluent.